Hi, this is Kelly Wegley, the Coordinator of Academic Achievement and Professional Development. I'm going to give you a brief overview of teacher-based team guidance that was developed in collaboration with the Professional Development Advisory Council, which is a representative group of teachers, administrators, and other district staff members. As you know, our year two implementation of teacher-based teams is evolving to support the increased alignment of our continuous improvement plan. This document highlights the why, how, and what of teacher-based teams. If you take a look at the why of teacher-based teams, it is no surprise that it goes back to our district mission to empower a community of learners who will change the world. And a small step in that direction is increasing how all of our students are performing in alignment with the standards, and particularly with the increased rigor that's demanded of our, through our standards. How will we do that? Well, we'll do that through teacher -based, the teacher-based team learning cycle, which push, pushes each of us to determine the impact of our instruction and then to adjust that instruction to increase the learning of all students in alignment with the standards. And then we get down into the details, and those are what is con are contained in the what. In order to see an, a, a nice visual and then narrative description of the overall alignment of our process, you can take a look at the continuous improvement plan process map and you'll notice that it takes you from the board of education goals to the level of the tbt with some narrative description on the right and you'll notice that you are at the perfect time with for the most part building improvement plan goals in place to take a look at those goals and determine who it is that you need to be working with to do tbt work through this school year if we go back to the original document You'll notice that if you would like to see information or more description of how that TBT process has grown from last year to this year, there's a place where you can click to get an additional narrative on that with some detail. If you continue down forms, that's always the big question. How should we document? What are we documenting on? And so we've put together for you a TBT forms comparison. And what I want you to remember before we take a look at this is that process is always more important than paperwork. And just to always remember the goals of the TBT learning cycle to determine the impact of our instruction and then to adjust that instruction to increase learning of all students. So you can see that there are several resources listed with thumbnails included to help you discern among those resources and determine which of those resources work best for you that help that will help you and to scaffold your use of the TBT learning cycle with fidelity. And remember, your reporting is going to be driven by the information that's needed by your building leadership team. Your TBT documentation should help you to maintain focus and to communicate your progress to the building leadership team. To further see what your building leadership team is going to need for, from you, you'll want to take a look at the continuous improvement plan. And to get an example of what that looks like, you can click on the continue improvement plan template. To see the specifics for your building, you'll want to look at the document that exists in your building. We know that you have lots of questions um, as we begin this work again this year, um, and we are going to offer some sessions um, to support BLT members in particular as they support TBT implementation, but TBT members are welcome as well. You do not have to be a part of the building leadership team. They're going to occur as part of our Worth You plan sessions. Plan is professional learning and networking, and they're going to occur on Wednesdays and Thursdays after school. These specific sessions are going to be offered September 7th from 3.30 to 4.30 and again from 4.30 to 5.30 and September 15th from 3.30 to 4.30 and again from 4.30 to 5.30. The sessions will be conversational in tone with the goal that you will leave equipped and excited to begin your work um, with your TBTs and your BLTs toward supporting our students' increased achievement and growth and ultimately their ability to change their world. Thank you.